ba ti nbe ni orun agbe oga lopolopo ayin yo tori pe wo ni olorun le kan si fun ori ofun to ri fun wa gba open wa father we thank you for another grace father may your name be glorified in the mighty name of jesus we about to hear your word father speak to us help us and bless our mind in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 in jesus name how to pray effectively part 2 how to pray effectively part 2 in the previous lessons in the part 1 of this uh, title i taught us how to pray i i i i i, I note some uh, points in there that if you are praying and you want your prayer to be answered quickly. So you need to pray in line with the word of God. I taught us that. So I, And I said number two. For you to have answer or to receive answer to your prayer. You need to have faith. That is in the previous lesson. The part one of how to pray effectively. Now, we are in part two of this topic, which says how to pray effectively, part two. What is prayer? Prayer simply means the communication between man and God. It is a conversation between man and God, where we pour our mouth or our out, where we, where we pour out our mind to God. Immediately, So, prayer is a communication between man and God. And for you, to pray effectively, there are things to do. So, and I've told us in the previous lesson, that is the previous title, that is how to pray effectively, part one. That if you want to pray and to and you want answer to your prayer, you must pray in the line with the scriptures. Another thing is that you must pray. In line with the word of God. If you want to pray and you want to see answer to your prayer, you must pray with faith. You must believe in what you are asking for. But today, in part two, for you to see answer to your prayer, you need to thank God first before any prayer. So people do when they want to pray, they will just pray, 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 pray. So asking for what they need without thanking God. You need to you need to thank God. You need to appreciate Him. Let me read it for you and see it. Where Jesus Christ has taught us in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9. This then is how you should pray. You hear? You hear that? This then is how you should pray. It is Jesus Christ who is teaching, I mean, who is teaching, sorry. It is Jesus Christ who is teaching his disciples here how to pray. They ask him, Father, teach us how to pray. And Jesus Christ told them, this then is how you should pray. Now listen. He said, our Father in heaven, allowed be your name. That is prayer of thanks. That is what? That is prayer of thanks. So, before anything, you must thank God. Allow be your name. Honor be your name. Glory be your name. That is the prayer of thanks. How to pray effectively, part two. For you to pray and see the answer to your prayer, you need to appreciate God for what He has been doing in your life, for what He has done. Number two, you need to 
ba gbo nkan ti Jesus so nbi bayi ninu we Matthew chapter 9 yen 9 um ninu we Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 sorry Matthew 6 9 o wi pe bayi ni ki eyin ki o ma gbadura baba wa tin be ni orun ki a bowo fun oruko re adura o pe ni that is a prayer of thanks so if you want your prayer to be more effective you need to thank god I appreciate him and you thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord for everything you have done you have to thank god you need to appreciate him you need to thank him for what he has done in your life that is how to pray effectively if you are asking something from god and you didn't thank him you are wasting your time i'm telling you you are wasting what you are wasting your time you need to appreciate god even for what you have not for what you have not received fun ohun to ti e ti ri gba rara olorun lati dupe lowo re jesus se tori pe ti se jesus se tori bo ti se jesus se tori bo ti mu ogun yi kuro jesus se tori bo ti la o ti fi owo agbara re gba mi lowo ogun yi you need to thank god first that is number 1 how to pray effectively part 2 number 2 is that when you pray and you need answer to your prayer you need to humble yourself you need to do what you need to humble yourself humble yourself that humility simply says you need to ask for for forgiveness of your sin so you ask for forgiveness of your sin admit that you are wrong whatever you have done that is wrong you, have, you must admit, admit and accept that you are wrong that is sign of humility. So if you if you, if you, if you did not accept that you have done bad thing, so you you you, you are not you, you are not humble yourself. So when you ask for for the, for the forgiveness of your sin, is the sign that you have humble mind. So for you to pray and see the answer to your prayer, you need to humble yourself. That's number two. Number three. For you to pray and see answer to your prayers, you need to forgive others. Whosoever have sinned against you, you need to forgive them. You must let it go. You must let what? You must let it go. So you must let it go. You must let it go. You forgive others. Whatever they have done to you wrong, you must forgive them. Another one is that you must be serious. That is how that is what our father taught us. You must be serious. On your request, you must be serious. So when you are praying and you are still playing, so it is not work. You are talking to God and you are talking to man. It is not done. Some people when they are praying, they will be receiving calls, even when you are in the church praying. Hello, Mumbo. Hello, Ejo. In the church. In the church. You are talking to God. You are having a conversation between you and God. You are having a conversation between you and God and you are still talking to man. That means you are not serious. For somebody to receive answer to his prayer, you must be serious. You must what? You must be serious. I told us, you need to humble yourself. That when you read the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. For if you forgive others, people, when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. Do you see that now? So, if you want answer to your prayers, if anyone has offended you, you need to forgive them. You need to do what? You need to forgive them. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer. And ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Agbara dura oyako gwonu aye relo. I prophesy into your life. Receive the power of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, "Pray without ceasing." That is without an end. You will not stop. Don't stop. Pray without ceasing. That is. Without, without stop. Don't put stop to it. Pray every time, every day, every time, every day, every morning, every
every month, every day. That is how to see answer to your prayer. I pray the power to pray more and more. Father, we give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. As you can see, Jesus Christ pray until his sweat that is dropping is like a blood. As you can see how serious the prayer is. God bless you. How to pray effectively. Part 2. God bless you now. God bless you, sir.